Exactly. Uh, what about uh, eating times, food times? Do mm-hmm. the people, you know, explain that to me. How does that work? Okay. In our rehab unit, our patients have the option to eat in our main dining areas, but sometimes when people are, are ill or mm-hmm. hurt, they don't feel like going out and about quite yet. Right. So those patients have the option to eat their meals in their room mm-hmm. if they prefer. And again, we just try to make everything as homelike as possible oh, and great. as comfortable as possible. And we try to make sure that everyone that is there is feeling as if they are a participant in their care because they are well you know there's there might be some young ladies or even some gentlemen mm-hmm. under the sound of my voice that have went through nursing school and went through college or whatever and they're looking for an opportunity um, mm-hmm. is christian care communities currently hiring right now like looking for new staff members oh we're always we're always willing and and welcoming to new staff. Mm -hmm. So if anyone is interested in coming to work with us, we highly encourage you to come by and pick up an application. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) We also have a a list of current job opportunities on our website, the www.christiancarecommunities.org. I'd say there is a a list because, you know, you keeping this great facility running and going and these new fresh nurses and and doctors and and things like that need to get involved in this yes because that you know uh, there's a lot of job demands for that right now and Mm -hmm. it's helping so many people Uh, just a basic you know it don't have to be an exact number just Mm -hmm. a basic of how many people is there right now well at Christian Health Center we have 106 beds 24 of those are our short-term rehab beds. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. That's able to help a lot of people. Yes, we do. So you get calls from the hospital or you get referrals or things like we that? We do. And the social workers at both local hospitals here and, and even the hospitals where some people who have had an accident or an injury might end up far away in Lexington or Knoxville. Mm-hmm. We work very closely with all of those discharge planners and social workers. So if someone is needing to come to a rehab bed, they let me know. And I am able to go to the hospital and make visits with the patients and their families, um, even as far away as Lexington and Knoxville. Oh, that is wonderful. And we do all the admission paperwork, and we get everything ready and done, and there's nothing for the patient or the family to have to have an extra worry about. We just get everything ready, and it's a very smooth transition from the hospital to the rehab unit. What about if uh, somebody is battling with Alzheimer's or, you know, that kind Mm -hmm. of condition? Uh, Are they therapy for that? you know, to help them a little bit? Our therapists are are very skilled with all types of of different disease processes that Mm -hmm. are sometimes very prevalent in the older populations. So they they have dealt with many different types of dementia, Alzheimer's, and and various different disease processes. That is wonderful because, you know, there's so many people, you know, they just need a leg help and a little encouragement and they can bounce back they can go back to their normal life you know because you know a lot of the older people they've been used to working hard all their life and and they've had to uh, defend for themselves a lot so they're they refuse to give up. Right. They don't want to quit. Right. right. We've had some very tenacious and motivated patients. That's exactly right. You know, I've worked with people in the past that was in their 70s, uh, late 70s, and still refused to even retire from work mm-hmm. because they believe if they sit down, they're just going to go to mush. They won't right. be able to function. Right. <laughs> and what about people like that? Do you, is there like certain exercise programs that build up their uh, heart rates and blood pressures and things like that? Well, our, our therapist tailor make a therapy program for each individual patient. Mm-hmm. So if someone was experiencing difficulty with maybe leg pain, mm-hmm. they would address all the issues that they could to alleviate the leg pain as much as possible and get them to where they were able to be as functional as possible with walking, range of motion, those type of things. So depending on what type of illness or injury that a person has, the therapists are able to do many different things with them to make sure they can get them as functional as possible. Exactly right. Now you have the ICU or the TCU. Oh, it's the TCU. Now that's uh, talking about the beds and, and the private rooms and things like that. Mm 